Team Keep It Clean. I like this. Adam Schefter, he reported that Chiefs offensive coordinator Eric Bieniemy remains a prime candidate, a prime candidate uh, for the offensive coordinator jobs with the Washington Commanders uh, and the Baltimore Ravens, per sources. So I love it. I love it. The fact that the Ravens, they seem to be waiting, waiting for Eric Bieniemy to possibly make a decision, or he seems to still be in their plans. I'm with that all day because this is who I want the Ravens to hire as an offensive coordinator for several different reasons. We can get into those again in a little bit. But first, let's see what my guy Phil Yates had to say. He said, Eric Bieniemy has been the Chiefs offensive coordinator and play caller for five seasons. Their ranking total offense in 2018, they were first. In 2019, they were fifth. In 2020, they were first. In 2021, they were third. In 2022, they were first. So in, as long as he's been the offensive coordinator, they have been nothing lower than the fifth overall total offense nothing lower than that they have even they have even either been fifth or higher see thinking about something like that I, my, my mind it just it, it, it can't even like comprehend that now they've also had a lot of success obviously they've been to a couple of super bowls and they about to play in another one in a couple of days uh they won one they lost one um but their offense has been something that's just been powerful now they do have the best quarterback in the league in Patrick Mahomes so that helps but if Eric Benjamin could come to the Baltimore Ravens and if they could keep Lamar Jackson oh man now something that I, I continue to say because I got to say it weapons matter they certainly do they matter but what also matters along with weapons is the person, if, if they know how to use them, if they know how to use them properly, if they know how to uh, use the weapons that they have already, if they know how to establish weapons. Now, some people want to say, oh, Eric B. Enemy, that guy, he doesn't even call plays. He doesn't even call plays by himself. He shares play calling with Andy Reid. Okay, and give me that. Tell him come through. Like, come on, bring it. Because we had somebody who did call plays and who has called plays, but the, the situational play calling was bad. The, the, the use of the weapons that the Ravens had was bad, even though Ravens didn't really provide them too much. But even when they had stuff like there was just too much inconsistencies and stuff that we saw as fans. So it's like if we see it as fans consistently, we calling it out consistently. How is the coaching staff that we watch in every single week consistently doing the same stuff? Bring me Eric Bieniemy. Bring me an outside guy. Bring me some type of change. And I know with Eric Bieniemy, it can still be tough because he will still be under Jonathan Harbaugh. So, so much depends on what John would be willing to do and willing to allow Eric Bieniemy to do. Because John, obviously, as a head coach, he has so much to do with what happens on game day. But I want Eric Bieniemy. Anyway, um, so with Eric Bieniemy, he's got to be looking at these teams, like looking at the Baltimore Ravens, like, okay, um, I don't know who my quarterback is going to be if I go there. Hopefully it'll be Lamar, but there's a big chance that it might not be. So I don't know. That's that's a big if right now. That's the biggest if in Baltimore right now. Who is the quarterback going to be? Um, and then as far as weapons, all right, if I go over there, what are they going to give me? What are they going to give me to work with? Are they really going to help me out so I can help my quarterback out so I can help out the weapons that I got? Or am I just going to be giving leftovers, scraps? Um, what, what are they going to do? So there's those some real questions right there. Real questions. Um then he can look at the, the Washington Commanders and be like, man, um, who is my quarterback going to be? Is it going to be Taylor Heineke? Um, is it going to be somebody else's? It ain't going to be Carson Wentz. I don't think so. But who is it going to be? Uh, but even above that, what's going to happen with ownership? Because the Washington Commanders are getting ready to be up for sale. Uh, so they're going to have a new owner any day now. And from experience, when companies change ownership, it can be for the better, but it can certainly be for the worse, too. Uh, I remember when I worked at a car dealership, and I was a, a transporter. I guess that's what it's called. I don't even remember. But I was the guy who, if you came to the dealership to get your car worked on, and you didn't want to wait there at the dealership, I could drive you home in a little company. Was it a van? I think, yeah, I think it was a van at the time. I could, I could drive you home. So I could drive you off. If you need me to drop you off somewhere, I could take you there, and then I could pick you up when, it, when your car was ready. Um, so... 
under old ownership. Whenever I was waiting for a customer, or, and if I didn't have any customers that I needed to drive home, they're like, all right, you could chill in that chair right there. You could just sit down and relax till a customer comes. We'll, we'll let you know when a customer is ready, and, and that's it. So I'll be sitting there chilling in the chair, posted up, relaxing, taking it easy. Um, but then uh, they sold the company to somebody else, so he was under, under new ownership. Let me tell you, they, they, didn't, they didn't tell me that I couldn't sit in the chair anymore. They literally removed the chair from where I was sitting there every day. They removed the chair, put it away. And I was like, whoa, what? <laughs> hey, buddy, where, where's my chair? Where's it, where'd it go? Did it, did it disappear? Did it walk on its four legs and go away? I didn't know where it was. So then I saw it and I grabbed it and put it back. So then uh, the new owner said, no, we, mm -mm, you, you, you can't sit there anymore. And I was just like, huh. And that just started this friction, and then um, maybe a week later, I ended up getting fired. So that, <laughs> crazy story, funny story, but I, I appreciate every step of the way because it allowed us to learn different life lessons and put us where we are today. We, I mean, we ain't nowhere special or anything, but it put us where we are today. So anyway, um, my point is that new ownership, they can change a culture, and they can change a culture for better, or they can change a culture for worse. Would Eric be enemy? with how the culture has been with the Washington Commanders. Now, I know last year wasn't anything too crazy, except the whole, the whole, the thing they tried Sean Taylor with. I don't know what that garbage was. Um, but other than that, Washington been, it's been a lot more quiet over there, over this past year. But we know with Washington, like, stuff could just be ready to pop off at any given second. Would Eric Bieniemy be willing to go to a situation like that and be like, all right, yeah, okay, let's get it. He could be. Hey, you never know. And I mean, if Washington paying enough money, he might be like, oh, y'all need to cut the check if y'all want me. And I respect that. Hey, get your bread. But that's something that he would have to think about. Now, me, um, one of the biggest reasons why I would love for Eric Bieniemy to come to the Baltimore Ravens staff, um, something that I explained before is because he wants to be a head coach. And he wouldn't even have to be the head coach of the Baltimore Ravens. I wouldn't mind it, but he wouldn't even have to be, be the head coach of the Baltimore Ravens. Um, since he has desires and dreams uh, and goals of becoming a head coach in this league, then that means he would coach like it. And what I mean when I say that, if he came over and just was like, you know what, I want to be an offensive coordinator for the rest of my career, the coaching could reflect that. It, it, it could show. Like, oh, I, even if you want, I want to be the best offensive coordinator, I can be cool, but I just want to be an offensive coordinator for the rest of my career. Stuff can get stale. You may look at the job like, uh, whatever. Because, like, you ever work with people who are like, and, and, hey, it ain't nothing wrong with it. Different strokes for different folks. But you ever work with people who are like, all right, hey, I just want to stay in the same position. I don't want to move nowhere. I don't want to move up. I don't want to go nowhere. I just, this, this is all I want to do. Versus working with people who are like, hey, I want to move up. I want to be a manager. I want to be a supervisor. I want to be an owner. I want to be a CEO. I want to be this, that, and the third. I want to be all that stuff. They have a different work ethic now. <laughs> Sometimes there's some of them people, they could be a little annoying, they could be a little sneaky, and they could try to undercut you and do some little grimy stuff along the way. But minus those people who do it like that as far as work ethic, when, when you really got bigger dreams and bigger goals, uh, your work ethic is going to show. It's going to show in your work ethic, excuse me. So that's one of the other reasons why I would really love for Eric bien to come be with the Baltimore Ravens, even if it's just for a year. Even, I, I would be willing to take that risk, even if it's just for a year. Even, even if he comes on and boom, he gets a head coaching opportunity. I wouldn't be mad at all, at all, because that's a risk I would be willing to take for the Ravens to turn their offense around, for Lamar Jackson to keep him, and for, for the things to just get better and more consistent with the Baltimore Ravens on offense, because that obviously has just, well, y'all know. Y'all know. <laughs> yeah, y'all know. So, we'll see. So, anyway, like Eric B. Enemy is not when it comes to the runnings for Ravens offensive coordinator position. And also, Washington Commanders offensive coordinator position, too. We out.